Aloha. Welcome on a Sunday, beautiful Sunday. Yesterday was absolute torrential rain. So I couldn't go yesterday, plus I had work. So it's, you know, work gets away all the time. <laughs> but nah, anyway, I'm at my local syndicate today. And uh, it's an old quarry, concrete one as well. So when it rains, it's just, turns into wet concrete. So I'm not looking forward to going back in the car later on. Before I come down for a couple of hours, while it's not raining, and the sun's out. Now I've got a solid bag on the right, with a little Kriller hard hook bait. And in it's got some powdered dust in it. Some nice little pellets as well. And a two mil or three mil. And on the left, it's gone for a pop-up. Might change that to a heli system, just because it is quite weedy out here. And I just wanted to get the rods out, to be fair. Um, right, yes. After watching many videos, they all say the same thing. Go around, spend an hour or two, have a look, see where the fish are. There you go. Unless you're on a syndicate, it doesn't really work. Um, point in case of, you know, bluebells or linears, places like that where it's a day ticket and it gets rammed. You can't really do it. So you need to do research first, as much as humanly possible. Get onto the forums, get onto the Facebook, uh, the Facebook pages. Get as much information as you can. And uh, it might take a couple of sessions at different pegs on the, on that lake. I know they've got quite a few lakes. Just so you can map it out yourself. And see what's what. And also it's a good idea. It's a very popular venue. Just ring up the day before. Ask them how many people are coming off. When they're coming off. So la, 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 la. And um, try and get there about an hour. Hour and a half before. So you can walk around, one might just suddenly come free, which I've been looking on a few times, and away you go. Um, but yeah, I've just I've just managed to get hold of a new syndicate for winter. Um, hopefully it turns into a full ticket, because I'd love to do it in the summer, spring, summer and autumn. And that's Egton Lakes. Uh, I believe it's on the Jigsaw Lake, I believe. Um, I've just got to double check that, uh, but I'm just going in a couple of weeks when I get paid. So I'll definitely do a video for them. Definitely do a video. Um, I'm excited about it. Um, so the thing with syndicates is, it's sometimes you can wait six months, sometimes you can wait a couple of years, but I'll say go for it. So at least then you know, you're pretty much guaranteed a peg. They're like, they're doing Monday to Friday, Friday to Sunday, whatever it is. <laughs> So you pretty, pretty much got guaranteed a peg when you go. Um, generally you find them a lot nicer, a lot happier, and they don't get much noddies or um, people with Argos setups, I heard one person say. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we've all got to start somewhere. Um, I know when I first started, it was Argos. No, well, actually, it's actually, um, it was a paper shop in our local town, Daventry. And it was like 5 dollars to get this little extended fishing rod. And that's how I got hooked. <laughs> got hooked. Um, but yeah, I've got the, the old Argos stuff and looked on Facebook and eBay and stuff, you know. Just be careful when you're buying stuff like that. And then gradually upgrade your kit. Um, I'm in the process at the moment of upgrading my entire kit. Um, so I'm looking at the Infinity Shimano rods, Shimano reels as well. I haven't decided yet. Um, I like my rod pod and my bivy as well. And that's tight, not the new one, the old one, I suppose, but it's really old. It's only about six months old. Uh, and my barrow, I won't be changed, but, but the rest of it I'll be changing. Um, looking at the Fox MR Plus lamps, oh, I really do like those. Um, and then it's just pretty much new cradle this like i'm pretty much starting again um uh, but i'm going up a couple of notches on the old fishing kit um i'm getting a lot of the new cord stuff 
I like them. I, I like their 13 foot rod bags because uh, you can fit obviously three made up rods. Um, also, you can have two landing nets as well. Um, so, I'll probably go for that. Some, some of their compact as well stuff. Um, another thing is, is the, is the line at the moment. There's lots of line out there. I'm using the Fox Exercise, I think it is. 50, 15 pound. It's all right. Um, me personally, I'm not really getting on with it to be fair. Um, but I've heard great reviews of the garden and stuff, so I'll, I'll probably chuck on to that or probably go on to back to Corda, I think. I had the touchdown and it was all right, but couldn't cast nowhere near what I wanted to. So it's make sure you do research. It's all personal preference, really. Um, so that's on that. Um, I was looking at getting a deeper pro, just purely when I do turn up to lakes and stuff, I want to not to find the fish but to map it out myself. Uh, look for features and whatnot. And it's you might use it once or twice a year or, or whatnot, but it's a great bit of kick to have. It really is. Um, bait boats, bait boats. I can see the idea with it. If it goes to like really big waters, I can see the idea. Um, but again, if you use it on small, medium lakes, you, you shouldn't need to have one. If, if you can't cast accurately where you want it to be, then you need to go home and practice your casting. Um, in, in my book, if you're on a 15, 20 acre lake or whatever, um, then by, by all means, I'll do it, get a bait boat and do it. Um, a good tip for anyone there as well, uh, to try and improve your casting, is you get like a three ounce lead, and you go down to the biggest field you can find, and you get some cardboard, four or five, big squares, so, and you measure it out, 20 meters, 50 meters, 80 meters, 100 meters, and so forth. And you basically keep going down, bam, 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 hitting it, hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. And also you can use the clip system as well, so you just boshing it, hits the clip, bam, lands on the spot. Um, I still do it to this day, just to sharpen my tools, as it was. Um, so that's a good, good advice to have. Um, but yeah. I would say don't get trapped into what everyone else is doing. So just because someone's catching on this bait doesn't mean it's going to work for you. Get on the bait that you feel confident in, that you trust in, and you know it's going to work. Nine times out of ten, it's going to work because if you keep changing the bait, you just it's, yeah, you're just spending stupid amounts of money, and yeah, just find a bait that you like and, it's, and go for. Um, and to say you can't come to a lake and you use main line on a Monday and you catch 20 fish you go there on the Tuesday you use the main line and you catch nothing it, it, it's just the way it is it really is just the way it is um, so yeah just, just, just bear in mind what bait you want to use and stick to that bait and, and go for it really um, I've at the moment, I've got the B BMP boilies, they're 16mm I believe, no sorry, 14mm uh, from Northern Bates, <laughs> and they're good. Um, also, they've just released the peach and pepper boilies, and wow, <laughs> yeah, wow. Uh, by all means, go and try it out. Good quality bait, affordable bait. Um, I think postage is about 15 quid, but it, mine came within three days. Uh, it's coming away from like Denmark, Netherlands, that kind of region. Uh, by all means, go on the website, you, you'll only be getting discounts or whatever anyway. Get some and come and go fishing. You won't be disappointed. You really won't be disappointed. Um, oh, speaking about lambs, um, the ones I've got at the moment is the ATTs, which I think are absolutely phenomenal. Apart from, you do need to make sure you've got full battery in them because 
it all comes from the receiver. And I've had it to me last time I was there. Oh, uh, ripped off, boom, so what the hell is that noise? Well, I've got a fish on. And it uh, turns out that, yeah, that my lamb was um, dead as a dodo. So I had to use, so yeah, it was just, it, luckily I found a battery. Luckily I found a battery. Worked it in. Um, so I, th I think that's the only reason why I'm changing, to be fair. It's the only reason why I'm changing. Um, they should carry batteries there anyway, but it's just, just one of those. Um, but yeah. That's what it is, really, isn't it? Um, I will be making a lot more videos and I'll be downloading some proper apps and proper materials to make a good old film, like a proper film. Like li literally everyday carper, go in, turn up, do what you gotta do, step by all that kind of stuff. Um, which I'll be doing over the period of the next 12 to 18 months, which I'll be doing. Um, so yeah, what, what, watch out for that. Uh, like and subscribe on the old channel. Uh, the more likes and subscribers I get, I'll do a raffle, as it was, um, where I'll put in a pot of the Kriller from Northern Bates. I'll put that in. Um, and then when I'll say when we get to 100 subscribers, I'll do one of those. And then every couple of months, uh, do a bag of boilies, or do some terminal tackle from Gardner, because then I'll joined up with Northern Bates. So it could be cooked bats hooks. Um, it, just a fun way of doing stuff, really. Everyone likes a freebie, don't they? I know I do. Um, but yeah, it's been a strange year, it's been a strange year, especially with COVID as well, especially with COVID. Because the fish just got hammered for about three, four months, five months, because everyone's on furlough and whatnot. And uh, yeah, that about a month or so, of just nothing, then all of a sudden, they got absolutely slaughtered. Now a lo load of fisheries have just literally gone dead. Um, big, big shock, big shock to the fish really. But the next year should be better, it should quieten down next year and it should get back to normal, hopefully. It should get back to normal. Um, but yeah, if you're ever out on the bank and you're on your own and you fancy just a little chin wag or you don't know what to do or you need some help or whatever, then look me up on Facebook, Tyrone Wildman. Um, it would have a picture either of me holding a cab or it would be uh, Liverpool. Uh, the Liverpool team that won the Champions League, you can't miss me. Um, I'm also on Instagram, so like and share, and uh, subscribe to that as well. Um, also on Twitter as well. Um, I need to get back on your Twitter site, really. Give that a go. Um, but by by all means, if you're feeling in a bank, you're struggling or whatnot, or you just want a general chit chat, a cup of tea and a bicky, then yeah, by all means. Or I fancy going for social. Yeah, by all means. Um, I've got a couple of lads that I go with at the moment. Every couple of weeks, go for a social. More than welcome to come. More than welcome to come. Um, so, yeah. Until next time, like, subscribe, and have your chance to win when we get to 100 subscribers. Over and out.